Welcome everyone to the brand new section Parallel Computing. In this section we will learn about performing parallel computing and using it to handle big data. Here we will see some of the concepts like basic parallel computing, data movement, parallel maps and loop operations and at the end channels. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with basic concepts of parallel computing. Here we will see two important functions, that is remote call and fetch function. Parallel computing is a way of dealing with data in a parallel way. This can be done by connecting multiple computers as a cluster and using their CPUs to carry out the computations. This style of computation is used when handling large amounts of data and also while running complex algorithms over significantly large data. The computations are executed faster due to the availability of multiple CPUs running them in parallel as well as the direct availability of RAM to each of them. You need nothing to get started with Julia. Julia has inbuilt supports for parallel computing and multiprocessing. So these computations rarely require any external libraries for the task. Let's see how we have to do it. Julia can be started on your local computer using multiple cores of your CPU. So, we will now have multiple workers for the process. This is how you can fire up Julia in multiprocessing mode in your terminal. This creates two worker process in the machine, which means it uses two CPU cores for the purpose. The output looks something like this. It might vary for different operating systems and different machines. Now we will look at the remote core function. It takes in multiple arguments, the first one being the process which we want to assign the task to. The next argument will be the function we want to execute. The subsequent arguments will be the parameters or the arguments of the function we want to execute. In this example, we will create a two into two random matrix and assign it to the process number two. This can be done like this, task, equals remote call to rand2 to, to. Now that the remote call function for remote referencing has been executed, we will fetch the results of the function through the fetch function. This can be done like this. The command gives this output. Now to perform some mathematical operations on the generated matrix, we can use the at spawn at macro which takes in the mathematical operation and the fetch function. The at spawn at macro actually wraps the expression 5 plus fetch task into an anonymous function and runs it on the second machine. This can be done like this. Oops, an error. Let's do it again. Fetch task 2. There is also a function that eliminates the need for using two different functions, remote call and fetch. The remote call underscore fetch function takes in multiple arguments. The first one is the process that the task is being assigned. The next argument is the function you want to be executed. The subsequent arguments will be the arguments or the parameters of the function that you want to execute. Now, we will use the remote call underscore fetch function to fetch an element of the task matrix for a particular index. This can be done like this. Let's see in detail about it. Julia can be started in multiprocessing mode by specifying the number of processes needed while starting up the REPL. In this example, we started Julia as a two process mode. The maximum number of processes depends on the number of cores available in the CPU. The remote core function helps in selecting a particular process from the running processes in order to run a function or, in fact, any computation for us. The fetch function is used to fetch the results of the remote core function from a common data resource or the process for all the running processes. The details of the data source will be covered in later sections. 
The results of the fetch function can also be used for further computations, which can be carried out with the at spawn at macro, along with the results of fetch. This will assign a process for the computation. The remote call fetch function further eliminates the need for the fetch function in the case of a direct execution. This has both the remote call and fetch operations built into it. So, it acts as a combination of both the second and third points in this section. Superb! We've come to the end of this video. In this video, we have dealt with basic concepts of parallel computing. We saw two important functions, that is remote call and fetch function.